Hello, my name is Dane Chekolinski, Director of the Sheboygan County Economic Development Corporation. Today, I want to talk about the opportunity to create an innovation district and why it's important. Our agenda is to cover our demographic trends, especially, especially our shifts within the county, changing preferences and lifestyle, and how innovation districts can help us close the gap. A first look at Sheboygan County's population according to projections by the Wisconsin Department of Administration. The Wisconsin Department of Administration predicts that the number of seniors in Sheboygan County will rise by about 70% over the next two decades. This is fantastic news. The amount of wealth and knowledge that will build in this community will be astounding. The question will become is how do we use that knowledge? At the same time, the number of working age adults is expected to climb by about 6%. What that means is about one out of every 16 employees, if these population trends hold true, cannot be replaced when, when someone retires or leaves their job. At the same time, our number of youth or individuals under 20 is also expected to decline by about 1%. What this means is that Sheboygan County is projected to be in a negative population feedback loop. Our only real choice if we wish to maintain employment here is to grow our way out of it. Now the great news is that Sheboygan County right now is doing fantastic. Due to the collective efforts of all of our companies, Sheboygan County over the past year's um, workforce has been the fastest growing in the state. We outgrew Madison, congratulations. Now is the time to do something truly spectacular. When we look at population changes, it's very interesting when you start to compare Sheboygan County to historically um, Wisconsin's fastest growing community, and that's Madison with Dane County. It doesn't see, look like much until we take a look at the recessions. Sheboygan County is the yellow line. And in every recession since about 1990, Sheboygan County has had a decline in terms of population growth. And in the most recent recession, our population actually declined. At the same time, just 120 miles away, Madison's population actually gets stronger during these recessions. The question really is why? We don't have all the answers, but I can tell you we have some very good ideas on what may be happening. The first one is overall, overall population trends within the United States. Over the last century, um, the United States has grown more urban. Rural populations have remained relatively flat, but at the same time, urban populations has been on a steady incline. What this means is that Sheboygan County must develop more urban assets to, to stay relevant to the workforce. This does not mean that all of this development needs to happen within the city of Sheboygan. Every municipality across the area can do things that make itself more attractive um, to, to the average American. What can they do? This is a great poll that we pulled out of a national newspaper. The key takeaways here is that what, pe what millennials want in a city, and I'll be honest, it's not just millennials, it's pretty much everybody. First thing is, for someone to like a community, there needs to be a thriving job market. They need to value housing, and they need things to do, particularly outdoors. But most importantly, one of the important key takeaways is they're looking for an inclusive environment. They want an environment where they can feel like they can be themselves. Those trends aren't just national. In 2011, the Sheboygan County EDC did a young professional summit, and we found very much the same, similar preferences um, within the county as the national trends. There's a strong preference for downtown Sheboygan among millennials, especially in housing and entertainment. They want opportunities for job enrichment and flexibility, and they want the chance to build social bonds with others. Um, it's been noted by many people that have moved here, it's very hard to crack into social circles, not because people are unfriendly, but simply because individuals have their own uh, friend circles for generations, and it's very difficult to, to, 
to crack into those. One of the key takeaways that we should all be considering is when we want to attract workforce, we, we should listen to what they're saying. And again, they're saying we want we are looking for more urban, more vibrant, more inclusive environments, and they're looking for professional flexibility. So to recap, we're having a challenge finding employees now, yet we're projecting more challenges in the future. We're obliged, as a result, we're obliged to provide what the workforce is looking for. And we think we have an idea. And that is the innovation district. Here's a here's kind of a artistic rendering of where the innovation district is planned along Indiana Avenue, just south of downtown near a river and lakefront. Um, and the question really, I'm sure you're asking this, what is an innovation district? I'm gonna one minute video that's gonna explain in high level detail what is an innovation district? The geography of innovation is shifting. To find the innovative economy 20 years ago, a worker needed to drive to a secluded research park, work in isolation, and keep ideas secret. Today, proximity is everything. Workers want to be in urban places that are walkable, bikeable, hypercaffeinated, where they can bump into other workers and share ideas. Firms also want to be close to other firms, research labs, and universities in collaborative spaces so that smart ideas can be turned into smart products for the market. Innovation districts are this century's productive geography. They are both competitive places and cool spaces, and they will transform your city and metropolis. That is it for today's presentation. You're gonna be receiving two more emails with information we'd love to have you review to prepare for the summit. Again, the summit is on Wednesday, September 19th at eight o'clock a.m. at the Berkshire in downtown Sheboygan. The doors open at 7.30. We are extremely excited to have both your time, your thoughts and your energy. And we look forward to seeing you again from the city of Sheboygan and Sheboygan County Economic Development Corporation. Thank you.